Este. No. Oh. Teacher, uh, after that, Katie. In the WhatsApp, please. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry for the delay. My internet was very slow, and I really had a hard time trying Don't to worry. connect. I'm sorry. I made you wait. I don't know if Fabiola from Inglés Corporativo has spoken with you already. No, yet. No. Not yet. No, yet. Okay, she hasn't accessed the meeting yet. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Welcome everyone. I'm so excited to have you in one more session. Again, again, we apologize for the long delay, but we are back on track. Hello everyone. Let's start by saying welcome, welcome to each of you. Who wants to say hello first? Who wants to say hello first? Is it, is it a lady or a gentleman? Oh, ok, tenemos a Katherine, guys. Katherine nos va a ayudar con nuestras eh, dudas que tenemos respecto a los procesos. Escuchemos entonces a Katherine. Ok. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Quería eh, conversar con ustedes respecto al tema de la asistencia. Eh, no sé si tendrían algunas dudas eh, o inicio eh, a explicarles cómo es que se mide el tema de la asistencia. Eh, la escuchamos primero quizás para poderle comentar. Yo creo, perdón, este, perdón, yo creo que es el punto de la duda surgió en el primer mensaje en el que usted envió, no sé quién envió donde nosotros aparecemos, los que decimos que de alguna forma más que bien nos faltamos, aparecemos en el caso de mi persona con un 66.97%. Eh, cuando en realidad solo una vez en todo lo que va del curso, he tenido, en el caso mío he tenido una falla, igual que cierto compañero ha mencionado anteriormente. Eh, ahora parece que recibimos una nueva aclaratoria donde nos dice que el porcentaje que tenemos... En el caso mío, el de 90.77, ya lo siento más acorde al, a la asistencia. Pero el anterior, no sé, me quedó la duda en todo caso, ¿por qué aparecemos tan baja asistencia? Ok, eh, les comento, el tema de la asistencia se va midiendo con los minutos que ustedes tienen de duración en sus clases. Como saben, son dos horas clase que equivalen a 120 minutos, ¿verdad? Entonces, esos 120 minutos pues, son de 8 de la noche a 10. Entonces, en el caso, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, usted ingresó el día de ayer, este es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, usted ingresó eh, a su clase un poquito tarde y únicamente logró sumar 90 minutos. Entonces, ese es el porcentaje que el reporte de Zoom nos va eh, brindando a nosotros y es el que nosotros colocamos en las columnas que ustedes pudieron ver en la captura que les compartió mi compañera. Hola, hola. Hola. Sí, no sé si... Eh... En la primera, perdón, en la primera captura o en la segunda captura, señorita. En todo caso, eh... Ángel, tú tienes una pregunta también para ella, para que de un solo vaya aclarándola. Pues sí, bueno, creo de que en la primera captura, hasta donde logré entender, quizá es porque este, aún nos faltan clases, ¿verdad? Y la segunda captura sí la entiendo mucho mejor. Y este, creo que es como el proceso, así como dice ella, que es como sumando los minutos. Y sí, este, yo falté un día. Igual se lo hice saber al teacher Caleb. 
este, pero, y es, este, creo que eso está como que nos confundió un poco, ¿verdad? Porque la primera captura parecía muy bajo, pero me imagino que porque aún no había sido, bueno, aún faltan algunas clases, ¿verdad? Para poder finalizar lo que es el curso. Sí, igual eh, les compartieron dos capturas, una fue el día de ayer y la otra fue ese día por la mañana, ¿verdad? Entonces, en la primera captura eh, se estaba tomando su asistencia hasta el día de ayer porque nosotros hacemos el reporte de Zoom eh, por la mañana. Eso quiere decir que el de la clase de ayer nosotros lo hicimos esta mañana. Entonces se estaba contando la asistencia del día lunes. Por ahí entonces quizás le salía un poquito más bajo el porcentaje. Ya el día de ahora por la mañana que les compartieron la captura, ya se estaba tomando en cuenta la clase del día de ayer. Yo creo que hasta ahí estamos ok, pero algo otro compañero tiene algo otra duda. Parece que Luis, no, Luis parece que tenía una duda porque vi en el chat que estaba consultando, pero no lo veo conectado. Pueden consultar, no hay ningún inconveniente, es porque igual nosotros estamos para poderles apoyar y pues únicamente eh, mi compañera les hacía mención por el tema de la asistencia, ¿verdad? Eh, como saben, pues son dos horas, dos horas clase en las que ustedes pues deben de estar conectados y de igual manera pues les hacemos mención que se trabaja eh, tanto plataforma y el tema de la asistencia a sus clases. Entonces, eh, en el tema de plataforma, esperaría yo pues que ya todos estén al día, eh, vayan en la sección eh, correspondiente a la fecha, para que pues también puedan tener su, su porcentaje también en la plataforma. Buenas noches. De acuerdo. Eh, fíjese, Catherine, que no cuadra. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué nosotros hicimos preguntas? Porque el día de ayer nos enviaron un porcentaje con el sesenta y tanto por ciento. Si usted me dice que faltaba la, que con la clase de ayer este, nosotros llegamos al 90 por ciento, no cuadra, ¿verdad? Entonces sí hubo un poquito de susto, yo creo que con el reporte que enviaron ayer. El que enviaron ahora, creo que estamos acorde de lo que eh, se supone debemos llegar en porcentaje de, de asistencia. Eh, yo trabajo también con reportes de Zoom, trabajo en la UCA y también eh, hago ese tipo de, de, de conteo, ¿verdad? Con los asistentes a los cursos de INSAFOR. Pero entonces por eso creo de que no nos cuadraba con respecto al, a, a esa captura de pantalla que enviaron el día de mañana. El día de ahora sí enviaron y, y sí, prácticamente sí creo que era más acorde a la asistencia que ya teníamos. No sé si algún compañero notó que tal vez a él le salía muy baja o no le alcanza según lo que se ha conectado. Eh, sí, como les mencionaba anteriormente, ¿verdad? Eh, se compartieron dos capturas de pantalla y pues una de ellas aún no se estaba tomando en cuenta la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, como usted sabe, eh, Estela, es de la Orellana, eh, pues se va sumando, ¿verdad? Se van sumando Exacto. esos minutitos. Entonces, eh, al, al hacer la suma eh, ya de la clase de ayer, a ustedes la asistencia les subió, ¿verdad? Entonces ustedes pudieron ver que quizás algunos estaban con un 68, por ahí 65, y ya pues en la captura de esa mañana ya estaban en un 72, ¿verdad? Entonces, el porcentaje que ustedes vayan a tener ese día, nosotros ya el día de mañana lo reflejamos en el reporte de Zoom y su porcentaje va aumentando. Su porcentaje se va acercando más al porcentaje que Insafor nos solicita, ¿verdad? Que es del 80%. Entonces, eh, igual, nosotros siempre estamos en contacto con ustedes, eh, pidiéndole pues su apoyo para que se puedan conectar. Eh, aún nos faltan unas cuantas sesiones para que ustedes finalicen este módulo. Y tenemos tiempo, ¿verdad? Tenemos tiempo y solo les hacemos la invitación para que pues ustedes estén las dos horas clases de 8 a 10. De acuerdo, muchas gracias por la aclaración. 
Ok, gracias a ustedes. Igual, cualquier otra duda o consulta, nosotros siempre vamos a quedar al pendiente. Gracias. Catherine, disculpe. Solo una consulta. Bueno, de mi parte hay una duda. Dígame. Quizás por lo mismo de los porcentajes que nos aparecían en un momento, yo pensé que nos estaba afectando el hecho de que en algunas ocasiones por X motivo en este curso no hemos tenido clase. Entonces, eh, pensé que eso nos puede estar afectando, pero si no es así, pues... No, en el tema de cuando no se han tenido las sesiones, nosotros no tomamos en cuenta ese día. Como ustedes saben, se corre un día eh, más la fecha de finalización. Entonces... Eh, el día que ustedes pues no tuvieron clases, eso no afecta, eso no se toma en cuenta de la lista de asistencia porque pues básicamente no hay clase, no se suma nada, no se resta nada, ¿verdad? Entonces ese día pues no se toma en cuenta y es por ello que se alarga un poquito la fecha de finalización. Mm, ok, ok, gracias. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, people? Yes, sure. Yeah. Okay, so you don't have any more questions for Catherine? No. Clear, clear like horchata or clear like crystal water, huh? <laughs> no water. Like crystal water. All right, thank you, Katherine. Let's go ahead and get started with your class. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna go over the attendance. Let's go ahead and take a look at the attendance. First of all, once again, thank you for being connected. And let's start by calling some of your names. Let's see. Once this file pops up. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Perfect. Okay, so do I have Miss Lady Carolina Ventura de Valdez in the house? Yes, I'm here, present. Thank you, Angel Antonio Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. So I guess Angela is missing in action. Okay, one second. Okay, Carmen Eugenia Tremino Reyes. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana Andino. Present, teacher. Jacqueline Yesenia Miranda Rodriguez. Present. Jaime Antonio Avila Cortez. Present. Jose Mario Valdez Gómez. Hey, teacher. Great. Jose René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Julio Cesar Merino González. <laughs> Present. Catherine Lisset Cáceres Montesino. Present, mister. Um, sorry, I'm on the road, so I'm going to be only listen right now. After Let me I'm know. Going to incorporate. Okay. Perfect. Drive safe. Be careful on the road. Once you get home, let me know that you're ready to participate. Okay, thank you. All right. And Kathy Denise Oriano Villacorta. Present. Great. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. 
Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello, hello, I'm here. Awesome. And Cristian Jose Lopez Perez. Okay, Jose. people. Oh, you're here. Perfect. Let me put the attendance for you, Jose. All right, let's start with a little with a little talk as we always do. Um, I just shared with you a video on the WhatsApp chat, also on the chat here in Zoom. It's a very short video that talks about different ways for you to ask wishes. Since today is the last day of the month and tomorrow is the beginning of December, the most special month for some people, for some other people it's a normal month. Overall, it's a special month, right? It's the last month of the year. So what are some of your wishes? What are some of the wishes you may have for the end of this year? Or maybe if you have some wishes for next year, 2023. So watch the video and I want you to use the different structures to give one different wish. Try to prepare one wish using each structure. Watch the video. We have 10 minutes and then we will talk. Go ahead. Ángel, no sé si me mencionó. Sí, te mencioné. Ahí te tengo ya, Ángel. No worries. Let's go watch the video. 10 okay. minutes. Teacher, today yes. I I feel sick. I have a um a headache and I can't. I couldn't participate. I'm sorry to hear that, Angel. Please stay connected and um, you Thank just you. listen to the class, okay? Take some medication, drink a, drink a herbal tea, drink some tea that will relax you. And um, okay. let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's watch that video for 10 minutes. Prepare different wishes with the different structures in the video. Take notes and we will talk in 10 minutes, okay? Let's go. Make it interesting.
Already, I think we are all set. Are you guys ready to share some wishes? Now that it's Christmas, that the Christmas season is around, let's share some wishes. Using the first structure, I hope. Who can provide one example? Don't fall down, okay. don't fall okay. down, only one. I, I, I hope I can work at home. Okay, you hope you can work at home? It's, it's more comfortable, right, Stella? Be sure, me. Go ahead, July. I wish, I wish what? that in the next year, um, it's Can you repeat, I, please? I did. I did that. I did. I did. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish that the the new year, um, is speaking English. <laughs> mm, you will use. Um, I hope. Cool. I hope cool. I can speak English very well next year. I yes. hope I can speak I English very well next year. Can you repeat? Yeah. I hope the the nav, I Okay, I'm going to repeat one more time. I hope I can speak English very well next I, year. I yes, I I hope I can speak English uh, very well ne next year. Yes, that's a correct example. Give me an example, guys. I hope using the structure. I hope. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Talk to me. I have to find another job next year. Excellent. You hope you can find another job, a better job next year? Yes. With a much better salary? Yeah. <laughs> of course, with the English level high in advance, anything is possible. Anything can be done, Carmen. Continue, guys. Talk to me. I hope, I hope, with simple present. I hope okay, that's yeah. very easy. I hope your dreams become true. Wow. Thank you. You hope our dreams become true. Thank you, Jaime. Somebody else. I got it on. <laughs> That's it. No more participation. Oh, my God. Let's go with the second structure. The second structure is I dream of plus noun. I dream of plus noun. For example, I dream of a great vacation in Mexico. I dream of a great vacation in Mexico, Acapulco to be specific. <laughs> Japan, Japan is best. It's what bad. about you? What about you? I dream of plus noun. Come on. I dream of, um, I dream of um, the future, in future, the world living in peace. No more war. Okay, I dream of a world in peace. No yeah. more war. Thank you, Julio, for your participation. Somebody else, I dream of. Somebody else, I dream of. I dream of traveling to Guatemala with my family in January. In January, okay. January is, should be a good month for traveling, right? Because December, is it must be very crowded. That's a very good wish. Thank you. Next participant, please. Talk to us. Chat it or say it. Kenny. I dream or I dream. I dream. Close your lips. I dream. I dream, I dream of a trip to Colombia. 
Really? What part in Colombia? What part in Colombia? Uh, Bogota. Bogota. Huh? Nice, nice. Why Colombia? Why Colombia? Mm. The beach? Because of the beaches. Because of yeah. the beautiful beaches. Because of. Because the of. And I, I like the coffee. And <laughs> it's the better coffee. Yes, it's the best coffee. People say it's the yeah. best coffee in the world. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for that sharing. Someone else, someone else. I I dream of plus noun. I dream of. Uh, I me. dream of a house in the beach. I'm sorry, you dream Daniel. Of a house in the beach. Practically, you dream of a ranch. Yeah, you dream of a ranch at the beach, huh? That's a good idea, you know. It can be also uh, taken as a good um, option for a business, you know. What about um, Florentino? Go ahead. Okay, I dream of a cyber, a nature be safe. Can you repeat that, please? I dream of a nature. Be safe. I wish of. I dream. I dream of a of nature. A, a nature. Nature. Be. La naturaleza. Safe. Okay. Let me see. Nature is a noun. Yes. I dream of. A nature. Okay. I I dream of a clean nature. Yeah. I dream of a clean nature. You can say it that way because you need a noun, okay? Uh, clean. A clean. Nature. You dream of a zero polluted yeah. world, right? Thank you. Yeah. Somebody else? Somebody else? I dream of. Teacher. Yes. Can I say the first sentence? Oh yeah, for, for of course. Go ahead. I hope I can travel because I have never been out. <laughs> you have never been abroad? No. Not even in like, Central America. Uh, I would like to go to Spain or USA. Oh, you're thinking big. You're thinking big. Okay. Thank yeah. you for your example. What about the second example, Rene? I dream of. What do you dream of? Uh, <laughs> it's continue the first sentence. I dream of being given a vacation, but my company doesn't like to give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with your company? Don't they give vacation or they give uh, you the money or what? It's complicated, mm. my company. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Somebody else has an example with I hope plus simple present or I dream of. Me, teacher. I dream of. I uh -huh. dream of finishing my English course with uh -huh. an excellent score and a good speaking. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you dream of finishing your learning process of graduating from this program with the highest expectations mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that's my dream too that's my dream too uh, hopefully you make it uh, don't forget to always participate as much as you can that way your teacher will have enough room to make any kind of correction or observation for you so you can get better trust me okay. we are the best we are the best. <laughs> all right, all right. What else? Let's go with the next structure. I wish for plus a noun. For example, I wish for a very, very blessed 2023. And this is my wish for you, for all of you, because you are great people. I wish all of you, I wish for, I wish for a blessed and very successful 2023. What's your example? I wish for, I wish for plus I noun. Come wish, on, come on. I wish for 
a world without COVID? Remember um, that you need to use a noun. I wish I for. Wish for a world <laughs> without COVID? Yes, I wish for a world without yeah. coronavirus. Oh, definitely. <laughs> That's a wonderful wish. Means congratulations. Teacher. Yes, July. I wish Shoot for, it. yeah. Uh, I wish for, um, I, I wish for she, uh, my grandson going in you, in you fear girl in school. That's a very long sentence. Are you putting the noun? Wish for, wish for plus noun. What is the noun? Noun is she. She is a subject pronoun. No. Noun is like a, like a world. I wish for a world in peace. I wish for the war to stop. I wish for the poverty in El Salvador to be stopped. I wish for um, a very nice uh, 2023 for all my classmates. I wish for a good Christmas bonus. I wish for a good Christmas paycheck for all of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Somebody else, give one example using I wish for plus noun. Go ahead. Um, I wish for the New Year's. You have a money. You have a, that's a, you have a love, healthy yes. and money. Health, money, job, everything. Yeah, thank you so much. The last structure, the last structure, I wish that. I wish that. You can use could or you could use would. The module verbs, could or would. I wish that I could play the piano <laughs> and sing at the same time. I wish. I wish, DJ Kalev wishes that he could play the piano, but I can't. I can only play the guitar a little bit. What about you guys? I wish I could graduate from college next year. Really? What's your major, Carmen? And, and, is it graphic? Graphic designing. All right. That's interesting. Thank you, Carmen. Somebody else? Me. Me. I Proceed. wish that I wish that I could save money for the next year. <laughs> I wish that I, I could. Spend... I wish that I could. Yeah. <laughs> Only in my dreams. You wish that you could save some money for next year. Is that correct? Yeah. That's a wonderful example. I think you can do that. You can definitely do that. Why not? Why not? That's a good example. <laughs> yes, Somebody think. else. Me. Go ahead. I wish that I could travel around the world. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. We're talking about imaginary situation. It means that it's very unlikely for the situation to come true, uh, but this is the way we express it. Very nice job, Stella. Somebody else. I wish that I could fly. I wish that I could go back in time go back to the past and correct my mistakes. Woohoo! I wish that I could go I could go back to my past and correct my mistakes. Uh-huh. What do you wish? What do you wish? Tell me. No more? No more, no more, no more, no more. Okay. Thank you for your participation, people. Let's go ahead and start with our class based on the manual. I'm sorry, go ahead. I have the, the final sentence. You have the final example. Go ahead, please. Hey, 
the fear what do you what do you say patrimonio your belongings belong con what belongings you can say belongings Can you say belongings? No, I can say. Belong yes, with mean. ing. Belong. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Let me check if I can get you a different term. You mean patrimonio, like, like uh, belongings. Let me see if I can get you a synonym for that. Give me a second. Try to always participate, guys. Remember, the more you participate, the better level you get. But if you don't participate, it's difficult for you to achieve your goals. It's difficult for you to get more fluent or, or improve your pronunciation and so on. Please improve your, your participation in this class. Let's see, I think I have access to my resource right here. But patrimony. Patrimony. Mm -hmm. Well, Maybe, but the example will be, I wish I could earn more money to advance my patrimony. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, perfect, perfect. Somebody okay. has one more or that's it? Can you see my screen, guys? No, you can't. Hmm. Let me try one more time because we have a homework. Remember, we have a homework. Did you do your homework? Or you forgot? We were supposed to rank these tips to improve the brand recognition. Let's go with Rene. Can you give us your ranking, please? From five to one, please. From five to one. Hello? Hello, Rene? Are you there? Yes. Uh huh. Can you give us your ranking, please? Did you do your homework? Mm. What? No. No lo comprendí, perdón. <laughs> you didn't do your homework, huh? Okay, let's go with Kenny. Do you have your homework, Kenny? Your homework. Square. Okay, I got no answer. Christian, Josué, are you there? No hicieron la tarea, chicos. You didn't do your homework, huh? Oh no. <laughs> My God. Julio Cesar, can I have your ranking, please? Yeah, teacher, the ranking. Uh -huh. uh, Give me from five to one, from five to one, please. Um, uh, the most effective is. No, no, no. From, from, from five, from the least effective. From number five, number four, number three, number two, and number one. Uh, from the least one. effective. Number one is probably. No, from number five to number one, Julio. From number five, what's number five? Um, what is the least effective tip for you? Uh, tell me, tell me, the least effective okay. tip is? Uh, develop a uh, hair. You need to tell me the least effective tip. The least effective tip is, uh-huh. 
You're not speaking to me, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, the, the least affected um, is when be, the ballot a hair fell as a story. Don't speak to white you are um, bossing. Bus, bus, ¿Cómo Business. se decía negocio, Julio? Business, teacher. Okay, okay. What's that pronunciation? Okay, what's your number four? What's your number four, Julio? What's your number four? Um, the number four um, is is provide quickly, value, quickly, quickly. Provide value as their expectation. Provide value and exceed. Exceed their expectations. Sobrepasar yes. las expectativas. Exceed. Okay. Number three. Me teacher. Maybe. Yes, it's your homework. It's your homework. Okay. And number three uh, is cons consistently remain your target mar market that you are at activity going busing. business 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 yeah my gosh what happened with that pronunciation my my meaning is all business business teacher okay. and what's number one what's number one for you um, number one for me is provide great customer service provide great customer service yes Provide great customer service. Great customer service. Do I have a different volunteer? Uh, me. All right, perfect, Daniel. Go ahead. What is your ranking for these tips to improve okay. brand recognition? My, my ranking is uh, is for me the number one is use the same logo. In wait, 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 market. wait, wait. I want you to go from the least effective to the most effective. Do you understand? Most from effective the least to... effective. Ah, okay, okay. From the okay, least sorry. effective to the most effective. Okay. Sorry. I understand. Number five for me is consistently remind your target market that you are actively doing business. Actively, actively doing uh, Actively doing business. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Number four. Okay. Number four, develop a heartfelt story to speak to why you are in business. Heart. 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 Heartfelt story. Heartfelt story. Okay, that's your number four. Okay, number three. Number three, provide value. value Exceed their expectations. Provide value. value. Provide value. Exceed. Value. Exceed, exceed their exceed expectations. Their expectation. Okay. Number two. Number two. Provide great customer service. Great. 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 Provide great, great, great customer great service. Customer service. And the most effective is? Number one, use the most effective is use the same logo in all your marketing materials. Oh, you think the logo tip is the most effective? Having a is good logo? Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. representative. Yeah. I appreciate your sharing. I appreciate it. Do I have a different volunteer who did the homework? The big homework. Share my please my. proceed from the least effective to the most effective. Hello, I, will, I, will I can't hear you. Can you speak up? Oh, yes, I will share my screen. Oh, wonderful! Go ahead, please. Do you want me to stop sharing? Yeah, no, maybe I will um, 
share the, the control the picture we share the picture. where where in the whatsapp or here um here cool go ahead wait take your time i'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> Wait, teacher, because I can't, uh, I can share. Wait. Okay. Oh, I already sent. Mm, okay, you sent you sent a file for me. Okay, I'm downloading it right now. Homework. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I can open it. Let me check. I think, I think, I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, in the meantime, do I have another volunteer with the homework? Can okay. you see? Wait, 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 I'm trying to download. I'm trying to download. Give me one sec. I want, I am share the, the screen now. Let me see. You're sharing? Yes. Yes, I see. I see the screen. <clears throat> oh yes. Oh yes. Perfect. Talk to us, Angel. Talk to us if you can. Okay. Okay. The first one provide great customer service. And from the two. from the least from the least important from the least effective to the most effective. Can you? Mm, okay, the first one is provide great customer service. You're not understanding, Angel. Mm. I'm asking you to provide the information from the least effective tip, meaning you're going to start with tip number five. Okay. And then gradually, you're going to provide us number one, which is the most effective tip. So you're going to finish with number one. You're going okay. to start with number five. Okay, thank you. Consist consistently, consistently remind your target market that you are actually doing business. In number okay. four, provide val value exceed their expectations. Yes. In number three, use the same logo in all your marketing materials. Okay. And develop a heartfelt story that speak, speaks, speaks to why you are in business. Correct. And, and provide great customer customer service. Okay, you agree with Julio on number one. For both of you, the most effective tip is to provide great customer service. Why do you think this is the most effective tip, eh, Angel? Uh, I think customer service is like uh, the presentation uh, to the some brand sometimes because for example, if you have a store, and you give uh, give to the people uh, a great customer service, the people go again to the store. Okay, and, the people come back to the store. Uh, the people come back to the store again. Uh -huh. And I think it's for that reason is very important. Julio, what do you think provide great customer service is the most effective tip? Because you chose number one, just like Angel, provide great customer service. Why is it so important? It's very important. It's, it's be, be, beginning 
um, the beginning is is in all negotiation why uh, with with clients is a target of of present presentation um the my company who has uh homework ready for me thank you julio who is ready who is ready with the homework me teacher Rene, you have a homework for us. Go ahead. Remember, from the least effective to the most effective. Okay. Five is provide value, excel. Provide. Provide value, excel their expectations. Exceed. 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 Exceed their expectation. For okay. consistently remind your target market that you are actively doing actively, business. actively, actively doing business. Doing actively doing actively doing business. Yes. Thanks. Three provide great customer service. Number three, okay. Number two, to develop a here felt history that speaks to why you are in business. Mm, interesting. What's your number one? Use the same logo in all your marketing material. Oh, you had something in common with Mr. Archimedes. You and Mr. Archimedes chose the same for number one. For both of you, having the logo, it's the most effective tip. Why do you think this is the most effective tip uh, for having brand recognition, Rene? Yeah, because I think the first thing people see is the logo. That is the brand knowing how I can about um, providing service, etc. is the is the more more or less the least I, I think repeat repeat etc 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 et cetera. Et cetera. Et cetera. very good okay give me this what what's what are your thoughts yeah for me why the logo is the most important yeah because you and Rene oh, had that as in common yeah, that's, uh, if I recognize uh, the logos that is a good product, in my case, I need to see the logo in the products. And for me, if I have a lot of information about the products, mm -hmm. I could be interesting about that. After if, that if a, I have a question that, for you, Danny. If, if, if there is a product and there's no logo, you wouldn't, you wouldn't buy that product, correct? You wouldn't like mm. that product. The, yes, I, I, in my case, I call a voice by product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if it doesn't have any logo. So for you, the logo is very important. It's very representative. And it's the most effective tip. Yeah. Okay. I think the is the first impression to see the logo of brand. I have a question for you, Danny. Uh, customer service. What What is your uh, number on the on the ranking? Customer service. And number two, it, it, it provide great customer service uh, is two. for me the second. Is the, the second okay? The second the because after that you are recognizing the products, uh, the customer service necessary to provide the products. Is, my thing is. Present is necessary to present the offer. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just asking you because because I, I like to hear your your points of view, you know. And 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 um, you all have different ways of thinking, right? You guys are people that are very uh, hardworking and successful, so you must have a lot of ideas in ways to make a business work to make a business successful. I know that you're very intelligent kind of people. 
So <laughs> that's why I like to hear, you know, the, 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 the reason behind. It's very important. Who else has a homework done for me? Me, teacher. Okay, Carmen, talk to us. But I, uh, I have only the numbers. Can you share your screen? Sure, I can do that. Let me share it now. Give me one sec. There it goes. Can you see it now? Mm, no. <clears throat> Can you see it now? Mm, yes, yes. Okay. Mm, the number five is develop a heartfelt story that speaks to why are you why you are in business. That's number five. Okay. Mm, the number four consistently remind your target market that you are a doing business. Okay. Use the same logo in all your marketing materials. Okay, that's number three. What about number two? Number two, provide value, exceed their expectation. And number one, provide great customer service. Mm, that calls my attention a lot. Provide great customer service. Why providing great customer service is the most effective tip for you, lady? If someone doesn't give you a good service, the client doesn't return. Mm -hmm. And that's why I feel is the most important. Um. I really like the different kind of opinions you guys are showing. Thank you so much for that. Somebody else has a homework for us. I see some people very quiet today. What's happening? Okay, Jack, go ahead. But I, I don't have the manual. Can oh. you check it, please? Sure, talk to us, talk to us. Okay. Um, for me, less effective number five is um, develop a heartfelt story that speaks to why you are in business. And number four is consistently remind your target market mm -hmm. that you are actively doing business. And number three, Provide value, exceed their expectations. Nice. And number two is use the same logo in all your marketing materials. All right. And number, and number one, provide great customer service. Why? Why do you think so? Why number one is the most effective, provide customer service? Why is it so important? Because uh, the customer always wants to to receive the best service, mm -hmm. and I think that the customer uh, how can I say merece? I I don't remember. deserves. I uh, deserves deserves uh, the best the service. Best service, yes. Okay, thank you so much. Do I have another volunteer for the homework? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Go for it. Is, this is <laughs> Mr. Galicia, right? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yes, I am. Let's go okay. for it. Uh, the number five, uh, I consider develop a heartfelt 
sorry that speak uh, to why you are. No worries, no worries. And number four, consistently remind your target market that you are actively doing business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number number three, um, provide a great customer service. What? Okay. Number, number two. two. Number two, use the same logo in all your marketing material. Gotcha. And number and one, the, the most number effective. Number one, you have to provide value exceed their expectations. Oh my goodness, that sounds different. Okay, for Mr. Galicia, provide customer service is positioned according to his rank in number three. And the, the most effective according to him is provide value. Exceed, yes. exceed the customer's expectation. It's not having the customer happy, but exceed the expectations of the customer. It's like, it's like leaving the customer with a wow face. Why yes. provide value and exceed the expectations? Why is that the most effective tip for you? Can you give us the story behind? And uh, I think it's uh, the most important because uh, when that uh, tip, you, you make um, loyalty in the customer wow. because the customer is, is uh, taking advantage uh, from, the, from our product. Mm -hmm. and they can uh, um, feel your need in the market. That is so true, sir. That is so true. Congratulations. I really like your participation. Uh, he okay. said that when you provide value and you exceed expectations, you are creating loyalty in the customer. So the customer will continue doing business with you and even um, will be doing business more frequently with you. So all of you make a lot of sense. Um, all of you make a lot of sense. Of course, we have different perceptions, diff different points of view, but it's, it's pretty interesting to me to hear about it. Okay. And and what do you think, teacher, about the, the... my personal opinion? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's very delicate. I think it's important to to have a clear idea about the service or the product that we're selling, that we're providing. But I totally agree uh, with, with many of you. I know that provide customer service, a great customer service is definitely, is definitely one of the most important tips because if a company in these days, nowadays, this company is not providing great customer service, tell me uh, this company has limitations. This company has borders, yeah? because you're not building something in the customer. The customer must be shocked. The customer must be impacted by everything we do, but with the values, yeah? For example, for me, for me, I will say, let me see. Number five for me will be this one. Consistently remind your target market that you are actively doing business. That's for me, number five. Number four, it will be this one develop a create a heartfelt story that speaks to why you are in business okay number three it will be use the same logo in all your marketing materials and what do you think for me number two it's provide great customer service and number one is going to be this one uh, provide value you're going to provide value what do you mean with provide value you mean provide quality of product, 
provide quality of service because that will, will make you exceed the customer's expectation. The customer is going to be so happy. The customer is going to be so excited, so amazed, so thankful. The customer will feel like, like, like coming back to get more product, to get more service from you because you exceed the expectations. It's not what the customer wants. It's, it's, it's above that. It's beyond that. That's why the customer is so, wow. The service that this company provides me, the product that this company provides me is helping me, is helping me to grow. So for me, this one is very good. Even when you provide customer service, guys, it's not about great customer service. It's about a wow customer service, exceeding expectations. All right. Okay. Now, I have a question for you. How passionate are you about the brands that you consume? I have seen some people that really go with brands. You know, if, 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 if something is not branded, they simply don't consume it. <laughs> they ignore it. Some people are really into brands, you know, that, you know, my pair of shoes must be branded, my shirt must be branded, my belt, my watch. Now, how passionate are you like that? Are you really passionate about brands? Um, and do you feel these brands define who you are? Who has an opinion? The brand not define us, I think. But if you, um, you want to... Uh... You want to get uh, good quality and uh, good product through the time, uh, for years maybe, uh, it can be uh, used a good brand or recognized brand because they offer good product mm -hmm. in high level quality mm -hmm. to use. In the market, but if you can um, get something cheaper than another, eh, you can use. Are you are you passionate brand. about brands, uh, Luis? Are you passionate not, about brands? Not really, but I like good quality. And 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 do you feel that? these kind of brands define who you are no define what i what i am um but uh, define what what um i can feel the product in my own interesting interesting can i hear some let me see a couple of more opinions can i hear Jacqueline. Okay, can I hear Kenny? Hello. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Perfectly. Okay. And in my case, I'm not passionate because um i don't like to well if the brand if a good brand and i and i can buy the product i do it but mm. if i i see a good shoes for example but it it, it uh, it's not branded a good brand, yes. I I buy it, but because I, I really I really I really like the the product for the quality, not for the brand. But if, oh. for, for example, um in my case I really like a uh, converse. Uh-huh. And I 
I try to buy if I if I want to to obtain, but um, the Apple, uh, the iPhone. Uh huh. I I don't like it because. Oh, me neither. I hate iPhones. Yes, because I think uh, <laughs> the 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 brand or or the character is no. The, the features. Hotel. The features, the features, and um, are very restricted. Restricted. Restricted, yes, restricted, and and I prefer Android. So, and if I want to to have a an an Android phone, uh, I I can buy maybe a Samsung phone or another brand, I think. And I prefer quality. I really appreciate your comment. It's very, very helpful what you're saying. And I, I'm kind of similar to you. I, I, how can I say? I, I kind of share what you said. We're very alike on that part. Um, it's very shocking for me to observe how people are, you know, when it comes about brands, because it's unbelievable. You know, <laughs> I remember when I was younger, <laughs> a lot younger, I used to spend, you know, um, on branded shoes, on branded sneakers. Um, but in, in those times, it wasn't that expensive. I mean, it wasn't more than $100, you know what I mean? So now I see people who actually are so into brands mm -hmm. and they spend a lot of money. You know, I have one student and this student has his own business. He brings, I don't know how he does it, but he, he kind of has access to sneakers, to shoes, tennis shoes, sneakers from the United States. And he sells those shoes here. But these, these branded sneakers don't cost less than $200. <laughs> Each pair of, of sneakers is around $250. $300 or even $350. And this student is telling me that he makes many sales. So that puts me in a position where I think, wow, outside there are so many people that are so into brands, like, 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 um, I don't know. I think it's too much. <laughs> I don't know what do you think about it, but I think it's too much. That's a lot of money for for just something that is branded. I don't know if you share my opinion. What 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 do you think about that? This is very expensive. <laughs> I didn't get. But, I didn't but there get are people like who that. pays that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. There are yes, many exactly. people who do that. Like uh, an, an iPhone, or like another kind of. <laughs> yes. Would you would you spend more than three hundred dollars in a pair of shoes? No, nothing like that. Me, Never. No. <laughs> really right. Know. That's what I'm saying. But this student is making money. He's making a lot of sales because there are people who have the money, in in in. And they are so in love. They are crazy about brands. It's unbelievable. But in some cases, they don't have the money. So they like. She's they, hadn't given the money. Anything. Yes, yes could be. The bank can be the, the other thing or the other way they, that they can um, have those things. What about you, Kathy? Are you passionate about brands? Like you, you buy really? your makeup and, and it's got to be branded. You, you buy your, your clothes, your clothing, and it's got to be branded. Honestly, honestly speaking, tell us about it. What are your likes on this topic? Uh, 
Well, I think I'm like you because I don't I don't think that be so much into like brands. Yeah, it's good because sometimes if you have the money, okay, and if you like the brand, you can um buy it. But um <laughs> not really. Uh, if I don't have money, and I will be like only in brand with brands, my clothes, my makeup and all of these things. And I'm not going to eat because yeah. I know some because I, I know some cases that they prefer to buy things or uh, that it. Then eating, then eating. Then eating or have a house. Uh, it's like shocking for me because I think you need to be like um first, humble yeah i don't think or to i don't know how to say like be renting like that rentando. be what be what be what rentando i i didn't get it uh, some people rent uh, rent they pay the rent yes 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 so they prefer to to pay if for rent than to buy a house just only to have brand things so i think that for me it's not i'm not like passionate i like to buy things that are like useful quality or useful useful like okay. the features and if are like similar sometimes uh, are similar the brandon branding things mm -hmm. than the ones that are not branded so um yeah i think that i'm not passionate about that i prefer to to uh consume things that are uh in that my you like and that and are in the possibilities yeah yeah i sometimes buy me a pair of shoes that cost like like 20 25 dollars I think thirty dollars is the is the most that I spend on shoes or sneakers. Um, I don't know. In my case, I feel that it's very hard to make the money nowadays, and uh, I, I think it's. I see it like a scene. I see it like a scene. Like if I spend like fifty dollars in something, I, I see it like I'm doing something wrong. You know. Yeah, for me too. I think that. I don't know. It's like um, is if other thing, it's like the same, and it's going to be useful for me. I think that I can keep that money, and maybe buy other things or more things. So that's true. Let me hear something now. That was such a great performance, lady. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for interacting. I would like to hear, let me see, who hasn't participated today? Who hasn't participated today, huh? I haven't, teacher. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I feel guilty. You feel guilty. <laughs> tell us, tell us, Miss, this is, a, this is a good topic to talk about. I think for, I don't feel... Reason, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Saudi. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm not so loyalty to Abraham because I understand and I think that not all the products in a brand are good. For example, I love, I love the, I use a brand that is cheaper. <laughs> For uh -huh. example, there is a brand that is called Tropical Care. Uh -huh. And I like, I like that, that, that brand. I like their shampoo okay but but i understand and that not all the products in that brand are excellent and also uh, for example i don't like i don't like the the brand dove because i don't like their shampoo but i like their the soap. soap the soap i like i know it happens the I same love the, to the, me. The, the, the soap is excellent but the shampoo for me uh, it damaged my hair. Oh, <laughs> yes. okay. And I understand that not all the products in a brand, and I think they are good. And I use different brands for different things that I use. 
I, I thought that this brand Sony, Sony, uh, the famous brand that is for electronics, I, I was confident that this was a good brand also on cell phones. Like five years ago, I, I bought a, a Sony cell phone, smartphone, brand new, brand new. And, and, I, I, and I thought, it's a Sony, it must be a good phone, you know? Because, because you see the smart TVs that are Sony, they are so good. You see the uh, stereos that are Sony, a lot of electronics that are Sony and, and they work very well. But when it comes about cell phones, I was a little dubious, you know, about getting it because it was Sony cell phone. And guess what? After getting it brand new, two days after that, the cell phone started acting out. The cell phone started malfunctioning. It was, it was unbelievable. I was very sad. I was very upset that the cell phone was not working good for me and it was new, it was brand new and it was a Sony. So as Sabrina said, sometimes we need to make like, we need to pick the, the best, the, the, the most reliable brand, not the best that people think, but maybe the, the brand that is convenient for us. Soriano, do you have an opinion for us? You've been quiet tonight. Sorry. <laughs> But I already uh, um, get my home. Oh, wow. That was late, Miss. I imagine you had a hard day today. Yes. Are you willing to talk to us about this matter? Um, Do you know the topic? So, so, really. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No problem. In that case, maybe at the end. Maybe at the end. What about Ventura, Mrs. Valdez? Do you have something to say? You must have experience about it. Are you there, lady? Nope. What about Jaime? Hey, Jamie, what do you think? Hi, hello. Um, about the brands, I don't have a preference, but um, and the cell phones, um, I have. Right now, I have a Huawei <laughs> because because my my cell phone is is broke. It's broken. It's broken. Oh yeah, I remember you broke it last time. So now you're using a Huawei. It's like your secondary cell phone, huh? Yes. Um, How do you like the brand? How do you like the Huawei brand? It's it's like uh, it's a good brand, um, but the 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 fusion, the the what? Oh, it's not compatible with the compatible compatible with the the uh, Google Google is um, the Google app. The Google app, but um, mm -hmm. you can have your your Gmail account on your Huawei. Yes, is is um, is available to use the oh. the Gmail um, Gmail account, mm -hmm. but and the Drive. But it's um, very slow. <laughs> the the processor, I don't know. But um, I think I am. Um, I'm, I don't know. How do you say acostumbrado or used to? Used to the the new cell phone. Right now, I <laughs> really I, <laughs> yes, and the the cell phone broke is the Motorola brand. In I like this this new new cell phone. I I hope I can fix this uh, this week weekend. Okay, hopefully. Uh, and it is only the screen, right? The the screen got broken, all messed up. Yes, yes, only the screen. I think 
I think you can repair it, but my advice is after repairing it, sell it. Because sometimes they say that cell phones that get the uh, screen repaired, eventually they get broken again. So it's better for you to fix it Change. and then sell it. And yeah, get another cell phone brand new. Okay, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Do we have an opinion by Estela? Okay, teacher. Are you with us? I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, um, I was uh, thinking about that. And really? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, passionate uh, about brands. Because okay, now, now, but what about in the past? Were you passionate about brands in the past or it's always been like that for you? No, and my my point is I don't know brands. <laughs> and when people mention brands and I think I don't know what is it. And it's... <laughs> difficult to me recognize uh, some brands and um, i know uh, some something but no uh, you men mentioned uh, kathy mentioned something and i don't know what is that <laughs> and that is my i i buy <laughs> i buy if the product is in offer <laughs> correct correct you Just go for the offers <laughs> me too this is my my oh, i don't know <laughs> Um, but I, I have to recognize um, some brands are good. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you pay the, the price, it's because the, the product is good. Mm -hmm. uh, for that reason, uh, the pro uh, some products uh, have a um, high price. Mm -hmm. But when you saw prices like the shoes that, that you mentioned, uh, no, it's it's very crazy. I don't know. <laughs> right, right. I should be crazy to spend that yes. amount of money yes. in, in just one product. No, it's very. With uh, that money, I buy, I buy clothes, shoes for you and for your and family. Bag <laughs> for my family. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy what we're what we're living nowadays with about brands. But correct me if I'm mistaken. Um, we have a lot of stereotypes. We have a lot of stereotypes, especially Salvadorians. Ooh, we're always stereotyping. Huh? We're always stereotyping. <laughs> so if a guy is not wearing branded sneakers some people don't talk to him if the person is not wearing something that is branded then this person is not interesting that's the kind of attitude that we face now because there are so materialistic people around us and i believe that that has to do with the values that you have and as many people of you said, it's not necessary for you to uh, go after brand, after brand, after brand. If you, if you buy a watch, gotta be branded. If you, gotta, if you buy a t-shirt, gotta be branded. It's not really necessary. You could be able to buy something cheaper that is not branded, but it's, it's, it has a very good appearance and a good quality. For example, the handmade products, the handmade products, the ones that Salvadorians, we actually do, those are good products, you know. Um, it's quality of products because it's coming from our same creativity. So I, I am very supportive with the national products. I've, I, I like to um, buy national products, you know, to support our people. So now that we have discussed about that, we could do this exercise. Let me see. We have a vocabulary right here. We have advantage. Repeat, guys. Advantage. 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 Which is ventaja, right? Ventaja. Advantage. 
Presence. And then we have presence. Repeat. Presence. 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 Okay. And then we have bonding. Repeat bonding. 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 Okay. <laughs> and then we have relevance. Repeat relevance. 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 And we have performance. 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 Okay, bonding. Bonding is uh, becoming emotionally close. Es como hacer un vínculo afectivo o un vínculo emocional. Eso es bonding. Okay. Bonding. Repeat performance. 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 Desempeño, right? Performance. Relevance. Repeat relevance. 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 Repeat bonding. 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 Presence. Presence. And advantage. 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 Very well. Let's go over the uh, concepts. Let's go over the concepts. Let's go with Manuel Escamilla, who's been so quiet tonight. Uh, can you read the first concept, please, about this? Customers. Okay, customers. Customer begin comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers uh, its potential. Comparing. comparing, comparing. Okay, customers begin comparing, yeah? Comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential. What do you think the right term is? Customer begin comparing the brand with the other. Any idea? Mm, I think so. It's uh, bonding. Advantage. Okay, we have advantage. Performance. Okay, performance. Advantage. Customers begin comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential. Okay, let's leave it. Let's leave it pending. Let's go over the second. The second. Um, Meaning. Let's go over the second meaning and see if we can get something there. Archimedes, let me see. No, Archimedes already did. Ezekiel, are you still with us, Daniel Ezekiel? Or no? No, Danny Ezekiel left or what? Danny, 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 Danny. No, he's not in. Okay, Osbin, are you there, Osbin? Read the second concept, please. Okay. Customers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotion and with their sense of self. Okay, okay. Do you have a better idea with this concept? It is bonding. Bonding, bonding. yes, of bonding. course. Bonding. Customers are beginning to associate the brand with bonding. their... Woo, emotions with their sense of self. Very good. So this is number three, bonding. Thank you much. Thank you much. Let's go over the next concept that's going to be read by Angel. Are you still with us? No, Angel is feeling sick today. I remember. I'm sorry, Angel. Uh, let's go with Jose René. Working time, René. Are you still with us? Are you sleeping? We almost go to bed. We almost go to bed, people. Just five more minutes. Let's go, Jacqueline. Can you help me with the next concept? Um, number four. Mm -hmm. No, no. This one that I am, I'm highlighting. Okay. okay. You got it or no? I can read, teacher. Please do so. 
Customers start to think about the weather, the brand, meet their wants and needs. Hmm. Start to think, start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs. Relevance. Yeah, advantage. Advantage and relevance. Hmm, we have a dilemma. We have a dilemma with that one. Somebody else? I agree with Jaime. Relevance. You agree? Yeah. Relevance. Customers start to think about whether the brand meets their... Yes, relevance. That's the right one. So this is number four. Relevance. Customers start to think whether the brands meets their wants, their importance, their needs. Okay? Let's go with the next concept. That's going to be read by Julio Caesar. Here, teacher, here. Are you still with us or you're sleeping? Oh, no. Sleeping. <laughs> I, I am sleeping and well. <laughs> okay. Go yeah, ahead. Consumers. Consumer have determined the cost advertise and um, performance are and of levels that they they're happy with okay consumers have Don't determined you. that cost advantage and performance are are all at levels that they are happy with yes say number one advantage I bet I bet I think <laughs> oh my god. Do you agree with Julio people? I bet yes. I think so. Wonderful job, Mr. July. You got it right. Oh my god. <laughs> one point for you, sir. <laughs> one piece of semita meluda for you at the end of the yes. class. With co with Coca-Cola. <laughs> no, that's poison. That's poison. <laughs> It's very poison. <laughs> okay, the last concept. Let's the last concept that's gonna be read by Luigi Galicia. Okay, all right. Customers are aware of your brand, but little else. Uh -huh. Customers are aware of your brand. Están sabado, sabedores, but a little else. Y un poquito más. Uh -huh. What is it? Presence. 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 Do you agree with him? I agree. Yes. Marvelous. Yes. That yes. is correct. Thank you. <laughs> so, so we have two pendings yeah we have performance that is pending yes and what else um, customers begin comparing the brand with uh, others yeah. to see whether it delivers on its potential yes I agree with Jaime do you agree with Jaime yeah that first one the first one, customers begin comparing the brand with yeah. others to see whether it delivers its potential. Do we all agree with him? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That is, yes. Yeah. Okay, wonderful job. Let's go over the attendance, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost time. Time over. Time is over. Time the quarter is, is over, teacher, huh? Se le acabó la cora, huh? The quarter is yeah, over. Yes. I want to continue. I want to continue. Tomorrow, on. punch dollar. One dollar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one second. <laughs> <laughs> the quarter is gone. Come on, man. I need to multiply that quarter. Yeah. 
You have to uh, go out for a change. I have to a wait for my. Water. I have to <laughs> wait for my Christmas bonus, huh? No, because you you can uh, broke your your coin in the alcancia <laughs> in the porquito. <laughs> I like that attitude. I like that attitude at this time of the day, 10 o'clock p.m. One more minute, guys, please. My tool is loading. I need to finish with the attendance. Just give me one more minute, please. Bear with me. Bear with me. Permanezcan conmigo. Bear with me. Bear with me, please. Bear with me, Manu. No matter. We're waiting for you. You're so patient. You, you, you won't you use class teacher. I'm sorry, so say I, that again. You all use, use class. Yes, use I class. own you like 10 minutes of classes. <laughs> I know, I know. I was late today. That's why I'm saying. I'm sorry, but my students are so patient. My students are so, so understanding with teacher Kalev. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. Okay, wait, this file is still loading. Almost there, almost there. Hmm. I need to tell you that my internet is running very, very slow. So let me try again. Wow. Go ahead, no problem. Go ahead. Yeah, my my um my internet connection is not working well. Anyways, um, yeah. Someone said something. I'm gonna give you an advance of next week because next week, let me see, tomorrow is Thursday. We have two more classes. And then I think we're going to finish on Wednesday. No, I better tell you tomorrow. I better tell you tomorrow. I'm not going to get you concerned or preoccupied. Okay, I'm going to let you go, guys, because my tool is not working out. Okay, so I'm going to finish my attendance later. And I want to wish you a good night, a good rest. You deserve it. You did a great today. And um, <laughs> thank you for all your participation. You make it always very participative and very interesting and very dynamic. Thank you for that. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the same time in the same place. Don't take it then. then. Well, you my file. See you tomorrow. Yeah, my file see never tomorrow. loads. Good night. Good night, Good everyone. Night. See you tomorrow. Oh, Sweet dreams. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Let's count sheep and fall asleep. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Have a good night. Night 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 night.